Okay, this video is about a miracle that happened to this man here in Newcastle, Indiana. He's 20 years old, and he was paralyzed from his waist down. And uh, he can walk. And according to all the doctors, he should not be able to do that. And he was even told by a child that he would walk on Thursday, and sure enough, he did. And uh, something about a calendar, somehow or another, he was told, like in a dream or a vision or something, ab about the date that he would walk again. And uh, anyhow, there's a story here. I'll leave the link below, and I'll, I'll let you watch the video. In Newcastle, it's known simply as the Miracle. One of the most prolific basketball players in the city's history is in a wheelchair one day, paralyzed from the waist down, and the next, he's walking. Kevin Rader explains how this young man's fortune changed literally overnight. If life is measured in steps, Joel Haler took a big step, Friday. In fact, he took a lot of them. It is good to be walking. He's been coming to the Y in Newcastle every day for the last four months, but this is the first time in all that time. That he was able to walk in. Okay. Keep walking. Huh? I can't help it. It didn't take long for people to notice. For him to one night be in a wheelchair and then to wake up and walk, um, he's, it's truly a miracle. That's just how quickly it happened. He woke up in the dorm room at Hope College last October. I had lost everything, paralyzed in the waist down. And I was like, Dad, you. I, I have no movement, I have no feeling, nothing. You've got to come get me. Four hospitals later, the only way he could walk was through robotic walking therapy. This past Tuesday, you know, I was, you know, doing the robotic walking therapy and I lasted 10 minutes. He decided that was it. There were no answers and for the first time he began to accept the inevitable. So he canceled his appointment for Thursday. But as it turns out, he didn't need it. Wednesday night, he woke up to a terrible pain. It was becoming unbearable almost as it, you know, continued to move up my legs. It became more and more painful. And it took about an hour and a half to, for it to, like, reach my hips. An hour and a half later, excruciating agony left him with an unusual feeling. Uh, I woke up my toes, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then I walked in my parents' room, and I was like, Mom and Dad, look. And then he said something, and then I was like, Joel? Joel, you're walking. You're walking. And we just jumped out of bed and embraced and cried and hugged and just burst into tears you know because it's hard seeing your son not be able to walk and so when he was standing there walking and we just embraced and it was thursday january 23rd that made perfect sense to joel he had dreamed of a calendar that only said j23 but just didn't know what to make of it until literally that next sunday there was a little boy at church four years old he came up to me and he says joel you're gonna walk on a thursday so the 20-year-old college student who could only walk with the aid of a robot on Tuesday was walking on a treadmill on his own Thursday. This is, oh God, you know, and I'm just being used. Or being tested. He says you can't have a testimony without a test. But the rainbow that very morning could very well mean he passed with flying colors. Eric Haler is a pastor at New Covenant Worship Center in Newcastle. I asked him who would be preaching this Sunday. He says Joel will be. Well, Joel has a story to tell. He sure does. What, what, you, what caused him to be paralyzed? In the he was working uh, during a PE. He's a PE major there. It was working, felt a pop on his back. But he didn't really think anything of it at the time. And it took weeks for that to happen. And all of a sudden he woke up. And he really gave thanks for his roommates in that room. Because he said they took care of him for a couple of days. Until finally it got so bad he had to call his father and say, you know, I can't move. Well, it's extraordinary. I mean, all, all those elements coming together, it's, it's really... It really is, John. And is he in a lot of pain now, or how does he feel? You know, the funny thing is, he said he feels normal today. A little weak, but normal. He was driving today. We are in the car driving with him, and he said he just couldn't believe it. I mean, you know, he had to have a suit to walk on Tuesday, and yeah. now he's driving and walking. Well, here's he even shot a few baskets. He's a prolific three-point shooter. People in Newcastle know that. Yeah. yeah. Well, driving with a foot pedal. Here's, here's the yeah. feeling normal, you know? <laughs> Yeah, Thank I mean, God for normal. All right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for bringing mm -hmm. Well, there you go, folks. And, uh... In Newcastle, it's known simply as the Miracle. And, uh... One of the most prolific basketball players in the city's history. That's the story of this man that can walk again.
And uh, I know we got to be praising God for this one, folks. So if you want to, again, watch the video or again or read the story, uh, you'll find it on the link below. Anyhow, thank you for watching. And the Lord does, Jesus still performs miracles today. God bless you all and all that you do.